So we just started loosening up. Relax the waist. Now bring your feet together and we'll loosen up the knees. change direction. And now the ankles. And change direction. Change direction. You know, the uh, climatic condition for fall is dryness and particularly uh, affecting the lungs because the lungs are our interface with the outside environment. And when the air is dry, it tends to dry out the uh, mucus lining of the uh, upper respiratory system and dry out the moisture from the lungs. So we need to drink plenty of water to uh, ensure that, that we uh, don't get overly dry and that we keep the lungs healthy. So we'll start off with uh, the lung cleansing Qigong. When we stand with the feet hip width apart, our breathing pattern is that we inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth. We put our mental emphasis on the exhalation. And when we inhale, we don't think about the inhalation. We just relax and inhale. So we're going to exhale 
turn the mouth and bend forward. And as we bend forward, we're going to imagine pressing the front abdominal wall to the back wall. Of course, we can't actually do that, nor would it probably be desirable to do that. So, but we're just going to press in here to help the diaphragm uh, empty the lungs of stale energy and stale air. And when we come back up, we'll inhale through the nose. After three times of bending down and coming back up, in the third time, we're going to inhale as deeply as we can and hold for as long as we can while bending slightly backwards like this with the arms raised. And then when we can no longer hold the breath, we'll straighten up, round out the mouth, and exhale all the impurities from the lungs. And then we'll repeat for uh, five uh, more rounds. So here we go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Mind in the exhale. Straighten up, inhale through the nose. Bend down, exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Straighten up, inhale through the nose as deeply as you can, hold for as long as you can. Now you might be tempted as you're holding your breath to listen to your heartbeat, uh, even to use your heartbeat to maybe time how long you're holding. Um, don't do that, okay? Uh, we don't want to put the mind in the heart, so don't, uh, don't think about how long. Just go by the feeling. When you can no longer hold your breath, then exhale. We don't want to put the mind in the heart and the lead chi uh, to the heart because as you recall from summer qigong, a healthy heart is normally on the verge of having too much chi, being too young. Okay, let's go again. Inhale through the nose. Bend down, exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten up. Inhale as deeply as you can. Hold for as long as you can.
in between repetitions, just wait maybe a minute or two to regain the normal respiration. Don't rush to the next uh, repetition. Okay, let's do it again. Remember as we bend down, we're pressing in on the abdomen and imagining we're pressing the front abdominal wall to the back wall. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. In. Inhale and hold. Okay, let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. in and out in and hold When you do the lung cleanse and you go on, it uh, might be advisable to have uh, a box of Kleenex or at least some Kleenex nearby uh, in case uh, <laughs> you 
actually uh, clear out some phlegm or uh, things from the lungs, which uh, is uh, not an infrequent occurrence. Now we have one more repetition. Okay, here we go. Inhale. Exhale, mind in the exhale. In. Out. In. In and hold. The recommendation is that uh, you do this once or twice a day, depending on um, you know uh, the condition of your lungs and uh, you know how much you feel you need to do the exercise, and uh, three to five repetitions each time, uh, three to five sets. <sighs> And it's also recommended that people who are in a weak condition or very elderly uh, should not do this exercise until they uh, do some uh, remedial work with the breathing. And that remedial work is to um, practice deep, relaxed breathing until they can get their breath uh, cycles uh, down to uh, six to 12 per minute exercise. Uh, we're going to do the uh, lung strengthening exercise. And um, after practicing lung cleansing for uh, three months, it's recommended that you also add lung strengthening. But we're going to go ahead and show the lung strengthening um, so that uh, you are aware of what it is. And lung strengthening can be done sitting down. Remember our sitting in Qigong position, when we're sitting in a chair like this, uh, rather than on the floor with legs crossed, we want the feet flat on the floor, knees bent at 90 degree angle, and then legs and torso at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so, we inhale through the nose until our lower abdomen is slightly raised. And then we hold the breath for 20 to 40 pulse beats, and that means taking the pulse either on the uh, wrist or if the wrist the pulse is elusive, um, you can take the pulse with uh, here at the carotid artery. Okay, so inhale to your abdomen I inhale through the nose till your abdomen is, a lower abdomen is slightly raised. Hold for 20 to 40 pulse beats. Oh, and then when you, when you can't hold any longer, 
Exhale and make the sound very softly, sound of no sound. Sum, sum, sum. So we're not using the healing sound for lungs in this exercise. We're using the Chinese word for let go, let go. Um, and uh, rather than say let go or relax, sum. And uh, Sung, um, since Sung is one syllable and seems to work with the exhalation of stale energy rather than say relax, which doesn't feel quite the same, or let go. And so it's better to use the Chinese word. Okay, so here we go. If you can do this, this is the best position. If you can find your pulse, I have a little trouble finding mine, so this is easier for me to find my pulse. Inhale till your lower abdomen is slightly raised. Hold for 20 to 40 pulse beats. And our recommendation is to practice this for three to five minutes. Okay, so if you're ready, let's do another go. Inhale till your lower abdomen is slightly raised. pause between repetitions to regain your normal breathing. And we'll go again. Inhale. Over time, this exercise will, of course, have two effects. One is that it will um, increase your lung capacity, and the other effect is it will slow down your heart rate. So, um, you 
course, when we look at the five phases theory and the five elements involved in that, the Chinese saying is the heart is uh, fire and the lungs are metal. You use lung metal to cool heart fire. So what happens over time as you practice this exercise is that lung metal will definitely cool heart fire. And it's, again, since most people, normally healthy people, have a heart that's almost on the verge of being too much on fire, cooling the heart fire and slowing down the heart rate is a great thing. Okay, let's go again. And if we do one more, we will have a completed five minutes. And, okay, let's do one more. After doing the lung strengthening for three months, there's a second stage to it where we inhale and raise the lower abdomen, then continue to inhale to raise the chest, um, and then hold for 80 to 120 beats. Okay, so uh, the recommended uh, training process is three months with lung cleansing and then adding lung strengthening for three more months and then going to the second stage of lung strengthening. So swing arms is the first routine, uh, first exercise in the fall season she go on. We want to relax the shoulders. And why do we need to relax the shoulders? Well, we have the lung meridians that run um, down the uh, thumb side of the inner arm. Uh, and of course, she has to go from lungs to arm through the shoulders. We want to relax the shoulders so that the chi can flow smoothly. But this also affects the heart channel and the pericardium channel, which um, also run down. The heart channel runs down the little finger side of the inner arm and the pericardium channel, the middle of the inner arm and the middle finger. So will benefit both heart and lungs with this exercise. So we're just swinging very loosely. We don't raise the hands higher than shoulder height.
because if we start lifting them up here, what happens? What do you feel here? Tension. So we don't want tension. And we can change the exercise and move the arms out this way, turning thumb down and the little finger up. And turning thumb down and little finger up as we go out here and then reversing it here. And this exercise, this particular way of swinging the arms is used in breast cancer prevention as well as longitudinal. You see, essentially we're working the same areas, heart, uh, lungs, and the area here. Uh, where the most of the breast cancer tumors arise. So we're kind of getting uh, more bang for the buck, so to speak. And we'll return to straight forward and backward. You're very relaxed. Okay. So that's our first exercise. Remember that we have uh, three stages to this routine. We have two exercises that loosen up uh, the chest and shoulders to allow the chi to flow freely. Um, then we have, I'm going to say four, <laughs> but we can count them as we do them. Four exercises that build up the chi in the chest and lungs. And then three exercises that release the chi we built up and help to restore and improve chi circulation in the channels uh, uh, that, uh, well, in the lung channels. Of course, we have one channel on the left arm and also on the right arm. So second uh, loosening up exercise, we're going to inhale with shoulders forward and exhale with shoulders back. Form your uh, index finger and thumb into the shape of letter C. You may feel the uh, cheek cleft in here because this, of course, thumb is long channel and the index finger is the uh, large intestine channel, which is the young organ partnered with the lungs. So in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. in, out, in out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Now, we're going to change the direction and we're going to inhale with the shoulders back and exhale with the shoulders forward. In, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In, out, in, 
out in out as you do the exercise of, uh, on the exhalation you may feel strange cessation between the index finger and thumb as the chi flows out along those two channels, lung and large intestine. So that's a normal feeling. Okay, now we go to the chi generation exercises of this routine. And when we do these, we're also going to add the healing sound for lungs, uh, which is uh, the sound SI. Uh, you, uh, if you wrote it down as you would say it, it's S I I I I I I. Like air leaking from a balloon. So we're going to make that sound. Oh, of course, we need to be exhaling to make that sound, and we're going to make that sound um, in the part of the movement where we're uh, relaxing and releasing the energy. So I will indicate that for each of the movements. So first movement is the feudal lord pulls the bow. So holding the arms, the first position is with the upper arm parallel to the floor. Inhale, close the fists, hold the position, exhale. In and exhale, release the fists, make the healing sound. Remember, it's made very softly, called sound of no sound. We're releasing chi from the lungs out through the uh, nose and throat. Also releasing chi from the lungs out to the interstitial tissues that surround the lungs. And, uh, and in regards to the release of chi through the throat, if we were to make the sound too loudly, it would uh, tense the vocal cords and help add block that release of chi through the throat. That's why sound of no sound. Okay, here we go. In, out, in, out and sound. In, sound. In, out, in, out and sound. Now turn to the side. In, out, in, come back to the front, out and sound. Turn to the other side, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound. 
okay? We've got a lot of work to do with Feel the Lord Pulls the Bow because it's the main exercise in this routine and we're going to use it for different positions uh, of the arms and chest to bring the air into different parts of the lungs to give the lungs a thorough airing out. So from that position with upper arms parallel to the floor, now we're going to lift the elbows. So in, out, in, out and sound. If you pay attention to where the air goes in the lungs, you'll realize why we're doing these different positions. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. You turn to the side, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound. Other side, in, out, in, back to the front, out and sound. In, out, in, back to the front, out and sound. In, out, in, back to the front, out and sound. So did you feel that <clears throat> when we lift the elbows, the bottom of the lung, the bottoms of the lungs get tense and the air goes into the top of the lungs and we turn to the side, like this side, the air goes into the top of this lung primarily. Okay, now elbows down, in, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in. Out and sound. Turn to the side. In. Out. In. Back to the front. Out and sound. In. Out. In. Back to the front. Out and sound. Now I'm going to move on to the next exercise which is the Immortal Pushes the Stone Tablet. Imagine that you are an ancient scholar, you've got one of these standing desks that were in vogue before their time. You're chiseling characters on a stone tablet. You finish that tablet, you push it down the desk to get ready for a, another tablet. So, you turn Look down past the elbow. Breathing pattern the same as with Fear the Lord. So in, uh, imagine the front hand is pushing against length resistance, but don't tense. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out. In, out 
and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. In, out, in, out and sound. So the immortal pushes the stone tablet, and we're, when we're uh, uh, thinking about the number of repetitions, you could do um, six to twelve, usually, uh, and of course what we're doing by that eleven, so six to twelve rounds. Okay, now we step out to a wider stance to do the. <clears throat> Sway the head and swing the tail to eliminate the heart fire from the eight pieces. Squat down, place your hands just above your knees with the thumbs on the outside. In, out, shift your weight to the side, press down with the hand on the knee. Look up towards the ceiling, in, out, in, out, press down with the hand on the knee, hold the position, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, straighten up and sound. Okay, so you could do another few rounds. Uh, you know, as we make the sound, we have to straighten up to make the sound to relax the long area. So you can make the sound every two or three rounds, or every round if you wish. Uh, but since we're running out of time in the class, we need to move to the next exercise, and we must absolutely get to the end of the part where we cool down the body and release the chi. So. Um, large rock expands its wings. We have three positions for this one. The first one, you interlock the fingers in, out, shoulders down and relax. So don't let your shoulders come up. In, out, in, out, and sound. So that first position generates heat in the inside of the lungs, the inside edge, the uh, medial part of each lung. Then we have second position, which is in, out, straight from the shoulder. In, out, in, out and sound. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out and sound. And a third position, which is out at uh, make a 45 degree angle. In. 
Tat. In. Out. In. Out in sound. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out in sound. And then we have a fourth position, which is in, out, in, out, in, out, and sound. In, out, in, out, in, out, and sound. Okay, so obviously you could do more of those um, uh, large rock expands its wings movements, but we need to get to the release of energy. So we have three uh, exercises that release the energy that we've built up in the lungs and chest. So you may feel like all tingly here because that's the chi that we've generated also on your back, upper back as well. So to release this chi now and to help uh, send this chi out through the lung channels to break up any chi stagnation, we're going to do a baby, a baby cream base for food. In, this, these are very, very relaxed. Out and sound. In, out and sound. In, out and sound. In, out and sound. In, out, in, out. And as you do these, um, pause just for a fraction of a section, a second with the arm relaxed and the fingers down and feel the chi flow down the channels of the arm. In, out. In, out. Second cool down exercise, the white crane loosens its wings. In, out, and sound. In, in, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And of course, if you're uh, sensitive to the feeling of your chi flowing, you may feel Qi flowing down into the fingers as you exhale and make the sound. And, uh, you know, your heart, triple burner, pericardium, um, large intestine, and lungs. So you may feel in all the fingers the release of the energy. Okay, last cooling down using the Laogong gate. Uh, full of energy in a normally healthy person. We're going to use Faraday's law of magnetic induction to induce the chi to flow down the lung channel. A massaging pattern is going to be down the outside, in the bottom, up the center, out the top, down the outside, in the bottom, up the center, out the top. Mind underneath the palm. 
So after we do four or five circles, we're going to go out the top and down the lung channel, placing lung valvulate uh, centered on the heart channel. I mean the heart channel, the lung channel. In, down the outside, in the bottom, up the center, out the top, mind under the palm. And out the top, across the shoulder, down the lung channel. One more time. And across the shoulder and down the lung channel. And of course we have two lung channels, so we have one on the other side as well. And we use the same massage pattern down the outside, in the bottom, up the center, out the top, mind under the palm, four or five circles, and then down the lung channel. And across the shoulder and down the lung channel. And one more time. And across the shoulder and down the lung channel. All right. So. Oh. Now my arms are tingling, my chest is tingling, my back is tingling. Yeah, generated a lot of chi and got it moving. And of course you could do more repetitions. We, I kind of ran myself a little bit short of time there towards the end. so. Uh, we didn't do as many repetitions as we could have, but uh, you got the picture of how to do the exercises. And if you if you watch the video of the class and you want to stop the video and do more repetitions before moving on to the next exercise, you can do that too. All right, uh, questions, problems. <laughs> One more thing about the lungs, because of course, we're going, we're going to go into the, the uh, flu season and we've got Corona as well to deal with. So the lungs are highly vulnerable. And at the first sign of uh, cold or flu, the Qigong recommendation is to do Qigong until you sweat. So the lungs govern the skin and also the pores and they provide the guardian chi, which is the aura, biomagnetic aura that surrounds us. So if we sweat and open the pores, we can get rid of the uh, penetration of external pernicious influences. So at the first sign of cold or flu, do qigong until you sweat. <laughs> 